The family of a man shot and killed by Boleyn police has filed a federal lawsuit against the city, the department, and the officer. Now, the officer claimed he didn't have a choice because Benjamin Teas was armed and dangerous. But his family claims Teas was not holding a weapon. Here's News 13's Kim Bias. It was June 4, 2010. A 911 call to Boleyn police says two brothers were fighting. Boleyn Sergeant Gerald Espinosa was the first responder on scene. According to investigators, Sergeant Espinosa was met by 29 year old Benjamin Teas outside of the house. Police say Teas was holding a sawed off rifle. State police say Sergeant Espinosa tried repeatedly to get Teas to put the gun down, but Teas didn't. Eventually, Espinosa fired one round, hitting Teas in the chest, killing him. This week, Teas's family filed a lawsuit against the city of Belen for the shooting. The lawsuit claims Teas did not have to die that night. They say he was not a violent criminal. Online court records show Teas had one pending case of an aggravated DWI and a few other driving offenses. His family claims he did not have a weapon at the time of the shooting and wasn't making any threatening gestures to Sergeant Espinosa. The lawsuit blames the city for a lack of training with its officers that led directly to Teas's death. The family is looking for compensatory and punitive damages from the city. Kim Baez, KRQE News 13. The city of Berlin had no comment on that lawsuit today.